So we are in Catherine de Barnes where we got our cold delivery yesterday. So it was a bit of a relief. Yep, the boat is lower in the water, that's for sure. I immediately left the bottom the door on the fire open and overheated us. So I think I got complacent. It's like, we got cold, it's fine. Because <laughs> yesterday I'm like sitting there basically, you know. Melting. Yeah, it was. Because my desk is near enough to the fire that I was like, I'm pretty sure some of the muscles are coming you loose. You didn't turn there. around and check though, There's did you? a little you? bit of carbonization happening. You didn't turn around and check the fire though, did you? Well, no, I'm not allowed to. You control the fire. And um, we ordered two boxes of fire lighters. We got two boxes of 32 boxes, each containing 28 fire lighters. <laughs> and we paid £1.60 for it. Yeah, there was a little bit of a packing error and he hands me these these two enormous cardboard boxes and I'm just like, it can't be right, but I thought we must have been overcharged. Like I must be, I thought we must have been charged for the so crates and I was just like, okay, well, we'll you just, know, yeah. we're going to stuck with the crates. We'll just sell them to some people along the way or whatever. And then I saw the invoice and after, after the driver had left, I'd help, I have to, had to help him back up here and, and turn onto the road. I come back and I see the invoice and I'm like, that's not right. <laughs> doesn't make any sense at all. Hey. 80p per crate. We phoned to tell them and they might come back and get them, I think. Yeah. But apart from the fact that we had to wait for the delivery slot, it was a really, really good option and a really good service. Oh, so. yeah, totally. So, right. yeah, and it's a relief to have Carl. Yeah, it was a good price. The delivery worked really well. I didn't even hear him drive up yesterday. No, just, I did, yeah. Yeah, they just all of a sudden, they're, they're there and they're ready to, to put it on the top. And oh, yeah, paid by um, bank transfer. So. Yeah, it was great. Um, one thing I forgot to say in yesterday's cruise video, or the day before, is we passed this CRT yard. I just wanted to mention it because it was quite interesting. There was all these old lock gates just stacked up like 10 high. Yeah, yeah. And all the stuff that had obviously been dredged out of the canal. This massive skip full of rusting bicycles and trolleys. And yeah, and there was a uh, there was a couple of skips that were specifically for... There was like a section that had a big sign that somebody had handwritten in tires. <laughs> and so there was just tires. And then there was another place with chains. And there was another place... And there was a... For some reason, although it was probably too far away for you to get a shot of, there was a... Um, like half of a car like the the top of the car had been carved off and the bottom of the car had been rusting so it looked like somebody had for some reason taken the top off a car and put the bottom into the into the canal and there was loads of bricks there that are obviously used for mending locks and mm -hmm. paths and stuff and yeah and today we are heading in towards birmingham through an area called solly hall yeah we're going to get most of the way to the edge of birmingham there's a small basin just before bordersley junction yeah and um hopefully so, we're going to stop there. Hopefully it's okay. It is about seven miles, so it's going to take a good portion of the uh, next few hours. Yeah, three, or four hours. three or four hours. And that's with no stops. So. And hopefully there's some facilities there. Yeah. I they're listed, was, but yeah. we hope they're open because we're low on water. Although this lovely guy who was just walking his um, his dog nearby um, actually volunteered to bring his hose, hose pipe over. And he was like, I might have about 90 feet of hose pipe. Well, that would be lovely, but no, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so We've nice. got to get ahead. That's so nice, though. Yeah. All right, should we go? I'm going to walk for a bit, but I probably won't walk seven miles. I saw the splash, he saw it sink. Oh well, at least it wasn't the good chimney, it was just the travel chimney.
Okay, we've made it to the Camp Hill Lock facilities and they're just on the other side of this fence but because I was walking I can't get in. So Michael's just moored the boat up and uh, hopefully he's going to come and unlock this gate so I can get in. Hopefully. It's just the boat's not extra tight up. We're in Birmingham. We arrived in Birmingham. We're at the Camp Hill facilities. At lock number one. Yeah, it's weird being at lock number one. Yeah, and it's weird because lock one is a narrow lock. Uh, so so basically this is the end of the Grand Union's wide lock coverage. Yeah, like we, I was expecting it to be a wide lock and then all of a sudden it was narrow. Yeah. And because the last locks we did at Knoll were wide. So, I so guess. from London to here, you can get up here on a wide beam, but that's it, you're done. <laughs> that's as far it's as you can go. End of the line. Luckily we're in a narrow beam. Yeah. We're going to park in this little channel over here where there's a, a tiny little arm but uh, there is a boat sort of inconveniently located beside a bush so we can't really make a pass. That's going to be a real problem, isn't it? Should we do it later? Well, we can do it right now. As soon as he's done. There. We can talk really fast. We're got. We made it to Birmingham. We're at the Camp, um, Hill. Camp Hill Lock. Lock we're, number one. Lock number one. It's we narrow. couldn't make it into the little channel over here because some uh, bushes are in the way and there's a boat that's permanently moored. And we need to be quick on this little conversation because at the end of the day, there's some people inside there using some power machinery and they're going to turn it on any second again. It was an okay cruise. The first section at Catherine de Bonds was nice and then the middle section was just horrible, I thought. It's like, it's not just the fact it was un industrial, but it was like really dirty and loads of rubbish there was diesel in the water and there was lots of rubbish and it was very definitely we were coming into a major city and it was really shallow as well which yeah. didn't help there's not really much around where we are right now so we're probably just going to do some laundry and um Stay we filled up night. with water stayed up for the night and then move on that's it top of the camp hill locks the end of the wide navigation Miles. three hours seven miles um, definitely we're we in, gone from country into city. We're industrial Birmingham now. Yeah. But, you know, it's got some character. Lots of smokestacks. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Like, click the bell, comment, subscribe, notifications, thumbs up. We're not, my hair is ridiculous as usual. It's all right, I can't see it. It's too bright. No, no, you can see it. <laughs> well, I can't see it. Is that thing recording? Yeah. Are we sure? Yeah. Because we've been tricked by this recently because of you. We've been tricked by this for the whole time we've been doing vlogs. <laughs> yeah, I know. We haven't learned. We haven't been doing that the whole time we've been here. We're only about 20 minutes. No, I start recording and all the machinery starts getting turned on. Where are we? At some, um, not Cane Hill, Camp Hill. <laughs> Camp Hill, that's right. <laughs> so we come into Burba uh, Burbank. <laughs> We're in California. <laughs> We're back in California. Well, let's just do it. We come into Burbank. Nope, still. That's wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Quick talk. <laughs> Quick talk. <laughs> I won't cook it up. <laughs> wait for the pause, wait for the pause. The end of the wide navigation, as far as you can go with a fat butt. And, uh. I'll bet it's around then. Ooh. <laughs> well, I've got no butt, so we don't have to worry about it. Alright, good? Yeah. Okay. Power tools, any second now. Swear to God. <coughs> All right. <clears throat> so thanks for watching. Like, click the bell, comment, subscribe. Uh, notifications. Thumbs up. I think there's some duplication there, but...